Hi. I've been on the bike ride this morning, uh, the weekly bike ride, the old man. There's only two of us this morning. One's sick, one doing something else, and one painting his front door. Poor excuse. Lovely day, a bit cold to start with, but it was a nice two or three days. So, uh, I'm going to try and be more colourful in this watercolour. I uh, don't know how successful we'll be. I'll put my rubber glove on, or my final glove, on my left hand, which is holding the wet rag. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to keep my palette so you can see it. I'd prefer to hold it, but uh, it makes it easier for you. So, I'm using um, some uh, Saunders 200 pounds cold pressed rough. Really lovely paper, thank you David Dickinson for sending it. So what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll tell you my palette, there's lemon yellow, filthy lemon yellow here. Because it's the lightest colour it shows up all the Payne's grey that gets mixed with it, but I'll just soften it a little bit. And just clean the brush again because I don't want that colour in the sky. Right, I'm going to make some sort of bright sky, so a bit of a lizard room. So I'll just put some of that in. You can see the lovely stuff it does. A bit of, bit of blue. Blue in there. It's not wet and wet, I haven't wet the paper first. I just and straight onto it. You can't do this with a Fabiano. It uh, wouldn't stand for it, it would go all cauliflowery. But this is a lovely, lovely paper, so let's put in a bit of light red in there. Or we can have a bit of yeah, that's a bit of a bit of uh, bit of a yellow uh, raw sienna. I can put some. I'm going to do a, a quick uh, scene, a quick, uh, what shall I say, a quick mountainous Lake District type of scene. So let's just get a nice bit of, bit of nice warmy cloud. Try to abstract the sky and everything else. So. Something totally unrealistic. Plenty of colour. It will merge, blend. Not too fussy, but fairly fussy. Okay, bit of bit of movement in the sky. So now we'll put in some some alizarin for distance. I'm reversing my colour scheme. Forget everything I've ever said about recession. We want colour. So let's go on one side. Catching the light and we're going from a bit blue, more alizarin, darker. Not used to this paper, and I'm certainly not used to this way of painting. I haven't done much of it for a long, long time. Don't go up uphill. Oh, sorry if I'm masking you. Just on to one side so that you can see what I'm doing, but I try not to get in the way. And then we'll go in with a distant now. Lovely dry brush with this. Beautiful paper. Right, 
which gave me some nice dark colours in there now. Yes, some trees and stuff on that far bank there. I haven't found out a way how to really abstract. Uh, all this uh, type of painting. I have seen some great watercolour landscape abstracts but I've not practised them myself. It's much easier to do with acrylic, which I'm doing, because you can change very, very quickly. I'm going to paint over that. Right, what we need to do now is put in some reflection. So drag it all down where you've got the blue. And drag it down with the dark and a bit of red in there. Just using the hake, I'm not going for the the uh, sables. And we're just creating that nice red, light red. Then some blue, that dark blue in the background. I put beaches and stuff in the usual. Now we've got some dark in there. Put in some ripples, a bit more red in there, but light red. So you can soften it. You just can't do that with the other, the Fabriano. But then the Fabriano does other things. It's great for wet in wet. I don't know where we're going there. Uh, right, we need some some. Uh, Bit of burnt umber, bit of yellow oak. You know, I keep saying yellow oak for my my raw sienna, but we're I use the raw, the raw sienna for the watercolour. And and the yellow oak for the acrylics. Um, this is just a, just a beach coming around here, and then we'll put in a bit of bit of darker stuff in there. Oh. And I can put some rocks and stuff on there. Red, bit blue. So this enables me to scrape out some bit of detail in there. Uh, nothing's in the right place now. I haven't done so many of the critics, but I'm just trying to keep everybody happy. I lost a couple of subscribers this morning, probably because I'm doing so many acrylics, and a lot of people just want me to do watercolours, but. I'm really enjoying the acrylic abstracts. It's a new way for me, really. And we can put some lighter, sandy colour in there. Oh, 
I have to get some paint off on, on this paper. It's so, so lovely and dry and rough and quality is quality. All comes at a price. So thanks again, David. Let's put a bit of cloud in, in that sky. Oh, there's some of the cloud reflections in there. So it's so much easier with this quality. Oh, we've got nice darks in here. Pinks. Loose there's plenty of sparkle, but I've got to really put in the in the water what is above really unless you you're, you're doing a windswept scene in which case you know, it'll be much lighter white almost let's get those colors in there some in in here That's lovely, lovely colour that is to, to reflect in here. So there we are. Now I'm going to strengthen this bank here. And I hope that dries a bit lighter. I'm sure it will. So, um, I want to put some foliage. But I need to dry that, so I'll just get my hair dryer. Going. So take that place off. Right, okay, so some rich colour in in there. It's got to be dark, otherwise it won't show. I think I've probably overdone the, the sky reflections here. But no matter. So we've just got some bits of grasses sticking up here. Yeah, I think I've gone a bit heavier with the, well I have definitely gone a bit heavy there. But we'll see what it looks like when it's done in the mount, in the blue mount. Uh, If it's really bad at the end, you won't see it, I'll delete it and paint on the other side. It's a 200 pound weight, so it's not going to go anywhere, it hardly buckles. Um, right, um, I want a little bit of, uh, not that, that's a glue. I want to put a bit of white acrylic for some some details in that. I bet all that's gone really dark. Um, hum, hum, hum. What's your name? Right, a rigger. Oh, there's my rigger. Going from, from acrylic to watercolor. Everything's in a different place. Right, okay. So I've just dipped, dipped out a little bit of uh, bit of white, white acrylic, a bit of water. 
Sogulna. Quite thin this uh, acrylic. It's the Wilco acrylic. Yeah, that's hardly registering. I'm going to put in some to have some detail here, here and there. So some buildings, some boats. Right, I'll put a signature on it, but I don't really, I'm not that happy with it. It's probably because going from so many acrylic, it takes a while to, to switch into the watercolour mode and doing a different technique, of course. Right, let's uh, just put a mount on it. We'll, we'll have a look and see. It's probably not as bad as I think, but, but I think I've just gone a bit heavy with it. Um, light mount on that, mainly because it's a dark, darkish picture. Oh, that's right. Oops. There we are, Lake District, Lakeland scene. Uh, let's bring me round. I will. Oops. Right, let's, let's zoom in. So I tried to go a bit abstract on that uh, far shore, but I'm not sure it really, really worked. We've got tree, trees on the bank there, then I, I put a dark reflection in and then I put the sky in, it's all a bit, a bit much I think, but a bit indelicate. But, uh, that's a bit square isn't it? I don't know, the sky is quite interesting really. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll let that go, I've got a bit heavy with the land I think. And, and certainly with the reflections, I got carried away there but Thanks for watching, we'll have another go at that. Bye bye.